Hi everyone. Now let's implement our example use case of our online project management tool. So we identify three main entities, organization, project, employees and project employees. And also we identify the partition key and the sort key for each entity as well. So let's go to AWS console and select the region US East 1 and create a DynamoDB table. So let's name the table happy projects given that this is a project management tool and I select the partition key as PK of string type and also I will add a sort key SK of string type as well. So I'm going to use uh, provision capacity here. I'm not going to use auto scaling. So I will just provision one RCU and one WCU and then I will create the table. So now open up Visual Studio Code in an empty directory and create a file called index.js. And uh, let's initialize a Node.js project by npm init. And we are going to use JavaScript SDK. So in order to communicate with DynamoDB, thereby we need to have AWS SDK installed. So I'm installing AWS SDK together with DayJS for date manipulation. And also I will add GUID or UUID for unique ID generations as well. So once it is saved, I will create a constant AWS by requiring AWS SDK. Then let's set the AWS region to US East 1 or North Virginia. So you can find the AWS region from AWS console and there's a region code on the address bar as well. So I also require GUID up here. So I will assign it to another con constant. And then let's create a DynamoDB instance to communicate with DynamoDB. So const DynamoDB. And uh, we are going to use DynamoDB document client, which is a much simplified client to interact with DynamoDB here. Okay, so now let's go about creating an organization. So what is the partition key and the sort key in order to identify an organization uniquely? So let's go back to our slides and find that out. So for an organization, the partition key is org hash org ID and the sort key is hash metadata hash org ID. We discussed this the other lesson. Okay, now let's look at DynamoDB SDK documentation. You can just simply Google it and click the first link appearing. Now, this is the doc documentation for AWS DynamoDB. However, we are using a much simplified wrapper library of DynamoDB, which is called uh, Document Client. You can find it right here. So click on that. Now, these are the methods supported by DynamoDB Document Client we are going to use put method. So this put method allows us to create or replace an item in DynamoDB table. So I'll click the link and copy the example code. Now let's go back to our editor and paste that in. And now we need to edit the attributes. For example, the table name should be happy projects like this. And the hash key or the partition key, so it is PK and the value is also, we can find it from the slides, org hash org ID. Now before that we need to have an org ID. So let's use our GUID library to generate an org ID. So this is a unique ID and I will type org hash then append that org ID. Okay, now I'll remove the rest of the attributes. What I need is another attribute, the sort key or the range key, which is of type uh, or the format hash metadata and the org ID. So let me add that as well, metadata hash and org ID. I will also add the name as another attribute. Let's call it happy ink for this company name. And we can add other attributes if you will. And then I will pass this params object to DynamoDB put operation. And then I will console log the output here. Now there's an important step which is not shown here. So in order to communicate with AWS services, 
from the local machine, you have to install AWS CLI and configure it with your IAM user credentials. So I'll post a link below. And once it is completed, let's run our application by node index.js. And if it is successful, we should return an empty object. So let's check that in DynamoDB console. And there we go. We have created our very first record of organization type. If I open up the item, you can see the name, PK, SK, and all the tier information that we added. And now let's create another organization with other information. For example, let's call it ABC Incorporation here with the tier of professional. So I will execute it using node index.js. Again, I should return an empty object. Refresh that. There you go. So now I have two organizations. So let's add projects to this organization. So this is the query that I'm going to use with the partition key and the sort key. So let's create a project in Happy Inc. first. I will copy the code from the earlier query. So I have to use org hash org ID. And for that, I need to find out the org ID of Happy Inc. So let's go to that record. And here we have the org ID after hash. Let me copy that and cancel this out. So let's have it in a constant. I will call it happy cog ID and just paste that value. And I need to have a project ID as well. So we'll get to that in a bit. Here I will change the org and the org ID to happy ink. So partition key is fine. Now the sort key, it has to be starting from pro hash then the type of the project and we'll call it this is an agile project so it is agile and then the project id so we'll get another unique id for project id i'll use our guid library so get that project id and put it there and let's call it the project name as project x and i will separately have the project id in a separate attribute and afterwards, I will execute this query with node index.js again. If I refresh it, now I should see three items. So there we have our project X record. Now, I always want to go to my organization record and then copy the organization ID. So instead, I need to create another attribute called organization ID separately. So let's edit that organization record. For that, I will use update. So here, I will uh, have the Happy Inc. organization ID. And the table name is again Happy Inc. And the hash key is PK. And its value of the type of org hash org ID. I will replace org ID with my Happy Inc. org ID. Now, Now we have to say what sort key is. So remember, we need both of these keys to identify and record uniquely. So here also it's happy in Coke ID. And then as our update expression, we need to add a new attribute. So we'll call it set hash org ID to the value. We will use another placeholder here, colon org ID. Now I can give the names for this placeholder. The attribute name placeholder hash org ID is org ID. And the attribute value, the placeholder was colon org ID. And for that, I will use happy ink org ID here. So now I will have a separate attribute called org ID. So I can easily copy from my table. So now let's execute it. Node index.js. Now, if I refresh it, I should see a new attribute for my organization. There we go, org ID and the organization ID. So now I don't have to go into the record and you know copy that part after hash. So I will copy the 
org id for abc as well so let's create another org id attribute for abc organization as well so it's the same thing but just the difference is the abc org id so let me replace abc org id here and then execute it so that we will have another attribute org id for abc as well so two are org ids here so let me create a couple other projects for query. So now I have two agile projects. So let's create some uh, fixed bit projects as well. So I will assign these projects into ABC company as well. So now I have a set of projects assigned to both of these companies. Now it's time to do the queries or access patterns. So the first query is to find an organization. So the method that I'm going to use is the get method. Now you can easily copy this example code and change the parameters right here. So the table name is happy projects and the partition key is in the format of org hash org id. So I'll copy the org id from the attribute that we updated the earlier. And we have to define sort key as well in order to uniquely identify this particular organization, the happy ink. So the sort key is in the format of hash metadata and then the organization id. Now I think we are good to run this query. So let's run this and see if we get the information of Happy Inc. So there you go, it returned the Happy Inc organization data. Now let's run another query. So this is about finding all the projects assigned to the organization. So we'll use the same Happy Inc and try to find all the organization or all the projects uh, assigned to this organization. So this time I am expecting more results. So in this case, I'm using the query method. Earlier we used get, so because we are expecting just single result, but this time it's a query. So in the query, we have to define the table name as usual. So we are not querying any index or so take this out. And then we have to specify the condition expression. So this is about finding all the projects of Happy Inc, right? So since the projects belongs to a particular organization, the partition key is org hash, whatever the organization ID, in this case, Happy Inc. And then sort key, we are using begins with operator because in this partition, we have projects, employees, and project employee record. So we just want to filter only the projects. So we are going to use begins with operator. We have multiple operators like this, begins with, in between, ends with, like that. So for this query, we use begins with the prefix of project, which is pro hash. So I'm going to use expression attribute names to provide values to these expression attributes. So PK is PK and hash SK is SK because we have common names of P, partition key and sort key. So it's time to provide the values for these attributes. So PK in the forms of org hash org ID. So org hash then the happy ink ID. Then the SK is just pro hash. So this is the prefix of project. Now let's run this query and check whether it works. Beautiful. So it returned project X, project Y, and project F1 of Happy Inc. So it returned all the fixed bit and agile projects of Happy Inc. So let's continue with the rest of the access patterns in the next video.
Thanks for watching, guys.